Hi friends, in today's video, I'm gonna make a 0 to 60 volt variable power supply. This is basically a dual power supply which has positive and negative adjustable regulators. The output voltage of each regulator can be adjusted from 0 to 30 volt. The maximum current of this power supply is 3 amperes. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel Canny Tech. do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. These are all the components we're gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its center pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a bridge rectifier and connect its pin number 2 to pin number 1 of 3 pin terminal block and its pin number 3 to pin number 3 of 3 pin terminal block and connect its positive pin to positive supply and its negative pin to negative supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1000 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to positive supply and its negative pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect another 1000 microfarad capacitor and connect its negative pin to negative supply and its positive pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect LM317 regulator and connect its pin number 3 to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 220 ohm resistor to pin number 1 of LM317 regulator and its other pin to pin number 2 of LM317 regulator. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5K potentiometer and connect its one side pin to pin number 1 of LM317 regulator and its center pin and other side pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2SD1047 transistor and connect its pin number 1 to pin number 2 of LM317 regulator and its pin number 2 to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect LM337 regulator. After that, I'm gonna connect a 220 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of LM337 regulator and its other pin to pin number 3 of LM337 regulator. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5K potentiometer and connect its one side pin to pin number 1 of LM337 regulator and its center pin and other side pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect 2SD1047 transistor and connect its pin number 2 to pin number 3 of LM337 regulator and its pin number 1 to pin number 2 of LM337 regulator and its pin number 3 to negative supply. 
After that, I'm gonna connect 2.2 ohm 3 watt resistor and connect its one pin to pin number one of second transistor and its other pin to pin number three of second transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a three pin terminal block and connect its center pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 0.33 ohm 5 watt resistor and connect its one pin to pin number one of three pin terminal block and its other pin to pin number three of first transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect another 0.33 ohm 5 watt resistor and connect its one pin to remaining pin of three pin terminal block and its other pin to pin number two of second transistor. So we have completed all the connections, now let's test the project.